Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Right off the bat, I think you could see what an action-packed introduction this has been. Uh, you could see that you, you actually bore witness to the great buttermilk ranch dipping sauce tipping of 2023. That's incredible right there. I didn't think it was going to get this crazy this quickly, but <sighs> expectations constantly exceeded. And speaking of craziness, this item, I guess there has to be someone out there that would use the verbiage crazy to describe this. There has to be someone that, that does. With that said, Popeyes has brought back an item that personally I enjoy. I've had some complaints with this before in terms of the spice level, but in the end, I still found it to be at least a pleasant item. And uh, what I want to do is I want to give this another shot. I want to see, because it's been about three years since they've last released this item, I want to see in that time, have they made any adjustments? Have they made any tweaks of sorts? Are they maintaining the standards? Or have uh, those said standards plummeted? That's exactly what I want to discern for you today. And uh, I really just want to try out the 20... Where did it go? Oh. Now you've witnessed the Great Buttermilk Ranch sauce falling off the table. I'm just going to put it here, because this thing's nothing but trouble right now. Anyway, they last released this in 2020. Before that, they released it in 2018. And again, I just want to see, how is it any different in 2023? So Popeyes has brought back the Ghost Pepper Wings. You can get these as a 6-piece or a 12-piece. And uh, what they are is bone-in chicken wings with a ghost pepper spice blend. The chicken itself is marinated for about 12 hours time in the ghost pepper blend. So it's essentially uh, baked and, and soaked into the chicken, I should say. Then it's breaded, it's fried, and uh, on the side, you can choose from various side sauces to uh, accompany the chicken. Generally speaking, they go with the buttermilk ranch, which is being rather recalcitrant this time around. But uh, nonetheless, they give you this to cool things off a little bit. Uh, likewise, they let me choose another sauce. So I thought, all right, what the heck? I'm going to go with their, uh, their sweet heat sauce this time around as well. So two sauces there for dipping. It's approximately price-wise $1 per wing. So you could get a six-piece for about $6. You could get the 12-piece for $12. In this case, I decided to get the 12-piece. Uh, no sides or drink came with this, so it was $12 merely for the wings themselves and the dipping sauces. So, as I mentioned, I like wings. Personally, I know people will say what they will. I like boneless wings. Bone-in bone wings are still pretty darn good, though, and uh, some establishments, of course, do a better job than others. These wings, quality-wise, in the past when I reviewed them, I found them to be of generally high quality, but spice-wise, my chief complaint was that they weren't as hot as advertised. So, in 2020, when I tried these out, I gave them a 6.8 out of 10, which isn't a terrible score. It's not one of those mind-blowingly good ratings, either. But back then, my chief complaint was that they were marketing these as ghost pepper wings, which Obviously, you have the uh, notion that they're extremely spicy, and then when I tried them out, they really weren't all that hot, and uh, that was just an issue that I had. But we will see how they are in 2023. Again, quality-wise, any better, any worse. Spice-wise, how does it compare to how they were in the past? So, that said, now you know everything there is to know about them. The Ghost Pepper Wings from Popeyes. They come in this special box, and uh, you can see the various Popeyes hieroglyphs on the front. 
especially the rubber duck, front and center. And now let's take a look at them. The wings, that is, not the giant rubber duck. Well, since the Earth is next to it, I guess that would be a space rubber duck. Maybe it's an alien life form, who's to say? Popeyes might know all the secrets of the world. They look like they're crispy. I think we all can agree they look well-breaded, fried, crispy wings. 12 piece thereof. And now, I guess I'll go with this one. Let's get that close up. There you have it. You can see again, fried, breaded, has a little bit of that uh, reddish orange hue to it. I'd presume from the, from how it was marinated. I'd, I'd assume that's where the spice lieth. Hopefully you're able to get a good look at it. So that said, I think we know everything there is to know about them. Now the moment of truth. Let's find out how good these wings are and how spicy they are. If I start convulsing on camera because of the spice, mission accomplished. So let's give it a shot. Popeyes, ghost pepper wings, going in. In a little bit, I'll try it out with the uh, sauces also. Quality-wise, I'd say it's very straightforward, uh, which can be good sometimes. It doesn't always need to be the most complex item in the world. All right, quality-wise, number one, let's just focus on the chicken real quick. Chicken is good quality. Juicy, flavorful. And you could see that these wings, I think based on the size of them, do have a good amount of meat to them likewise. Sometimes you'll get these wings from certain establishments that they look so tiny as, as if they're miniature wings and there's more bone than uh, anything else, so it seems. But in this case, I would say that there is a good balance between, uh, you know, the, the bone to meat ratio, a good amount of the uh, breading as well. I like that you do get that crunch in every single bite, but the meat itself isn't dry, it isn't tough, and uh, it's tender, it's flavorful, and I would say of generally good quality. So purely from a wing standpoint, they taste good. It's exactly what you would expect from Popeyes, uh, but I'm certainly happy with that. Now, most importantly, spice-wise, I guess knowing the track record that I've had with these wings and the fact that my biggest problem has been the same each and every time, it shouldn't really be much of a surprise that I was able to eat these and uh, essentially be reactionless. Because 
I will say that compared to some of the previous times that they released this, be that early 2018 and then mid-2020, this has a little bit more of a lingering aftertaste. So spice-wise, it hits you. You feel it. You immediately get that spice in the front of your mouth, and then it kind of radiates. I would describe it mostly as it, it essentially radiates down your tongue and then into the back of your mouth, and then it lingers as a bit of an aftertaste. So for instance, as I am still delivering this assessment right now, I still am experiencing that sort of spicy aftertaste with every uh, sort of word I enunciate, that little bit of spice keeps coming back up and coming back up. And of course, I'll let you know if it does go away. Um, but I do notice it's much more of a lingering spice this time around. However, this is the important thing. While the duration of the spice, what I am experiencing, does seem much more drawn out in comparison to some of the uh, previous releases of these ghost pepper wings. The intensity of the spice remains the same. If anything, I would note the spice starts off maybe a little bit more intense than I last remember it being, but it seems as though it dissipates quickly, and by the time it turns into more of that spicy aftertaste, the spice level is quite minimal. If I had to say, all right, out of 10, spice-wise, Let's say, I'll just use this as a scale of items that I've actually tried. 10, the most spicy, would probably be those uh, wings from Planet Wings that I tried out back in 2013, where I was in an absolute state. I had tears in my eyes, my face was all red, I, I could not maintain my composure. So you have that as the spiciest, and then as, let's say, a 1, you would just have maybe just some mild sauce uh, from somewhere where it's just, you know, very very, very weak, watery, etc. On that scale of spice, I would say the aftertaste would be maybe a 2 out of 10, so very weak. It's just something that I just happen to notice as I'm deliberately trying to pay attention to everything that I'm feeling right now in terms of the spicy uh, nature of these wings, but most people probably wouldn't even notice this aftertaste because it, it becomes more of an afterthought, if anything else, as, again, the spice level is so low, you would have to deliberately go out of your way to pay attention to it. So sure, while it's still lingering, while it's still there, I just happen to notice, yeah, it's not all that strong. Now, the initial spice, I would say, is around a 5 out of 10 standard. You could just call these hot wings, and I'd be inclined to believe that. Same problem persists as uh, I had the last few times. When you think of ghost pepper, you think, oh, this has to be really, really spicy, right? You see these eating shows where some guy's eating some ghost pepper wings, and again, like I even described with that one item that I, I tried, face is all red, you're, <sighs> and you got, you got a, you're trying to catch your breath, you're guzzling down the milk like crazy, and all this sort of stuff. When you think of ghost pepper, you can't help but have that imagery, this, on the other hand, it doesn't meet those expectations. So if you get these and you have that image in your head that you're thinking, all oh, right, this is going to be really, really hot. I like all those hot sauces. This is going to be something else. You're going to be really let down because you're, th you're going to think, wait a minute. I mean, I, I could go to a local wing place and I could just get their medium wings and it's going to be hotter than this. So they're flavorful. I'd, I'd describe this as a flavorful spiciness has a very weak but prolonged aftertaste, which is now finally beginning to fully dissipate. Wings themselves are of good quality, but when they are being advertised as being, or at least giving the impression that they're far spicier than they actually are, that is an issue, because you're going to have, no matter what, folks going into this who think, yeah, this is going to be really hot, then they're going to have it, they might think, all right, the wing itself is good, but this isn't really what I was expecting it to be. I, I want it to be in a complete, and uh, I want it to be a wreck. I, I want it to be a, an inconsolable mess. And instead, here I am, sitting here, just uh, enjoying these wings. So, that's the thing. If you want some decent chicken wings with a little bit of spice, I'd say, yeah, these are fine. A little pricey these days, but wings are what they are, price-wise. 
But if you're looking for these uh, for a lot of spice, I'd say just go somewhere else. Nonetheless, let me try out these sauces real quick. The buttermilk ranch, I don't think it's really a necessary component, purely because these wings aren't all that hot. Uh, so I don't really think you would need even a cold drink or anything, or rather the ranch sauce, to uh, extinguish the flames, because I don't really think there are flames that need extinguishing. But nonetheless, try it out real quick. See if it makes a difference. Yeah, to be quick, very it's very subtle. It doesn't affect the uh, the spice too much, but I do like that little bit of a sharpness that the ranch offers. It complements the wings nicely, so if you are a fan of that combination, I'd say go for it and utilize it, but I wouldn't say it's one of those instances where the sauce is absolutely necessary for an enjoyable experience. Finally, I'm going to try out the sweet heat sauce. Increases the spice a little bit. I'd say go for that too. The sweetness combines really nicely uh, with these wings as well. So either of these sauces, I'd say, hey, give it a shot if you'd like. You could tack them on. So uh, yeah, I'd say both of them are, are completely adequate additions to this meal. On a final note, last time I gave this a 6.8 out of 10. This time in 2023, my rating for the ghost pepper wings from Popeyes is going to be a 6.5 out of 10, as the spice, again, seemed almost a little bit weaker. But overall, all the reasons that I mentioned, take that into account, still decent for what it is. That's all that I have. Thank you for watching. I'm your host.